हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं हूं आर्टिस्ट मिनी शर्मा और आप सबका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपके फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल आर्टिस्ट बाय पैशन पर आज की इस वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करेंगे व्हाट इज आर्ट करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ आर्ट काइंड्स एंड कैटेगरीज ऑफ आर्ट क्वालिटीज ऑफ आर्ट तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं आर्ट द ओरिजन ऑफ द वर्ड कला और आर्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू संस्कृत स्कॉलर्स इज फ्रॉम द रूट कल विच मीन्स ब्यूटिफुल स्वीट सॉफ्ट और विच गिवज प्लेजर Some scholars have taken it as calm, or a thing which brings happiness or pleasure. The word kala was used for the first time by Bharat Muni in his Natya Shastra in the first century A.D., which means skill, dexterity, or craftsmanship. In the Indian classical literature. Art and art traditions have been elaborately discussed. Puranas. मैनू स्मृति कौटिल्यास अर्थशास्त्र वात्स्याना काम सूत्र एंड अदर रिलीजियस टेक्स्ट हैव इलेबोरेटली एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ट इन इंडिया द वर्ड कला और आर्ट इज सेड टू बी ए क्रिएशन फ्रॉम द कंजंक्शन ऑफ धातु एंड प्रत्या लाइक कल प्लस एक्स प्लस ताप एज रिगार्ड्स लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ कला इट डिनोट्स ए स्मॉल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ समथिंग द सिक्सटींथ सिक्सटींथ चंद्र मंडला एंड आल्सो सिक्सटींथ फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ ए राशि द यूज ऑफ द वर्ड कल in terms of dhatu is symbolic of counting and sound now come to the next page according to shlok of bharat muni shri baldev upadhyay in his bhartiya साहित्य शास्त्र हैज टेकन दिस वर्ड कला एज डिनोटिंग सॉन्ग म्यूजिक डांस एटसेट्रा अकॉर्डिंग टू पंडित भोला नाथ तिवारी द वर्ड हैज बीन यूज फॉर द फॉर फाइन आर्ट्स एंड शिल्प फॉर यूजफुल आर्ट्स प्रीवियसली ओनली शिल्प वर्ड was used for all the arts pehle shilp word ko hi sabhi tarah ki arts ke liye prayog mein laya jata tha in panini's ashtadhyay shilp word has been used for both fine and useful arts even music has been called as shilp in kaushiki brahman which proves that before the writing of natya shastra by bharat muni the word shilp was more commonly used in place of kala in the shiva sutra vimarshini of shem raj the specialty of beautifying the shape of a thing is spoken of as kala in the kamsutra of 
ਬਾਤ ਸਿਆਨ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਸ਼ੀਅੰਟ ਬੁੱਕਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਸ਼ੁਕਰਾਨਿਤੀ ਐਟਸੈਟਰਾ 64 ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਆਰਟਸ ਔਰ ਕਲਾ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਡ ਇਨ ਸਪਾਈਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਇਨ ਦ ਨੇਮਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਡ ਦ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਆਫ ਵਿਊ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਦ ਸੇਮ in some jain books 70 types of arts have been described a book kala vilas has been written by kashmiri pandit shimendra in which numerous arts have been amply discussed only 64 arts are there to help a man to get dharm religion arat money now come to the next page kaam worldly pleasure and moksha salvation these are 64 ways for a prostitute to earn money 60 ways 60 ways of how to deceive people by writing only are given and so many other arts have also been discussed in your kala is called as art the origin of the word art is derived from a latin word ਅਰਜ ਔਰ ਆਟਮ ਦੀਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਹੈਵ ਐਨ origin from the root ar which means to create to produce or to fit according to shri bhola nath tiwari the use of mental and physical craftsmanship in some artificial creation is art here we see three things first is that artificial creation is art one of the example for the same can be given by ardhan utensil the potter artist converts the earth into an artificial form he creates different different shape out of wet earth this creation of form is artificial up to 13th century, century art was known as craftsmanship by the by 17th century the word art began to be used for music sculpture painting dance poetry and oratory etc from time to time many experts try to define art but their definitions are as varied as life and nature ਅਬ ਕੁਝ ਡੈਫੀਨੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਕਰੋਸ਼ੇ ਆਰਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਆਊਟਰ ਇੰਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਰਬਿੰਦਰ ਨਾਥ ਟੈਗੋਰ ਮੈਨ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸਡ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ ਥਰੂ ਆਰਟ ਆਰਟ ਇਜ਼ more of an expression of the inner feeling than of external experience he tried to emphasize that the purpose of art is a living creation of truth and beauty for the pleasure of man according to plato art is the imitation of the truth here truth refers to the universal truth the imitation of the same is visible to us in all alive and material things of the world when the artist paints them it become 
true copy of the same universal truth according to michael angelo the true work of art is but a shadow of divine perfection according to mahatma gandhi art is poetry of sight according to w m hunt the mission of art is to represent nature not to imitate it according to ruskin every great art is the expression of the man's delight towards the creation of god the show in short art is human activity feeling and expression of individual emotional experience the modes and methods of expressions are such that experience is made communicable to others for example those who are interested may also derive the aesthetic pleasure expressed by these in other words it is an attempt to create pleasing forms to satisfy sense of beauty in a disciplined manner it is the expression of one's moods feelings thoughts and faith through one's creation characteristics of art now what are the characteristics of art it is representational through various ways it may be visual or oral it is not bound or limited but is free from free like nature and life even if there are creation basic principles for its expression still it is individualistic as a matter of fact every human being has a desire it de- delineates and expressed through various pleasing forms his varying moods and observations as such art and its expressions vary from person to person and yet the creation should passes harmony and unity kinds and categories of art there are two types of art first one is visual art and second one is oral art visual art visual art are those in which there is the element of space there are two dimensional and three dimensional for example painting sculpture etc and which can be seen by the eyes oral arts oral arts are those which have no element of space but only that of time oral art can suggest feeling and describe their visual importance and are dependent on imagination music poetry acting etc r r all are oral arts all these arts have power and quality of expressing views and communicating them to others now we will discuss qualities of art art is everywhere wherever man lives art is a mirror through which one can see gradual and constant development through this we can judge see and compare present with the past it is free in itself and has the freedom to express it teaches us how to appreciate art and beauty it helps us to communicate it gives us pleasure among with new experiences it creates creative emotion in the mind it is easily understood and that is why children understand 
पिक्चर अर्लियर एंड बेटर दैन ओरल एंड रिटर्न वर्क आर्ट प्योरीफाइज द ब्रेन एंड क्रिएट्स एन एटमोसफेयर थ्रू विच ऑल हिडन डिजायर डीप सोरोज हैविंग डिस्ट्रक्टिव पावर कम आउट ऑफ आवर हार्ट एंड दस इट लोअर्स द मेंटल ऑब्जेशन आई होप आप सबको ये टॉपिक अच्छे से समझ में आया होगा थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज़ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में